Hey, this is Scott with Bait the Band. If you're not fishing, you're watching fishing. And thanks a lot for watching tonight. And if you followed this channel, you know I'm located in the Midwest, right outside of St. Louis, Missouri. And we have been inundated this spring of 2019 with the flood that's happened this year. We have had tons of water. I haven't been able to get onto the Mississippi River or the Missouri River for that matter. And it is uh, the end of June. So if that tells you anything about how the water and the water current is here in St. Louis. But what I wanted to do tonight is to show you and kind of go through uh, putting together a limb line. A limb line is something used here on Mississippi uh, quite frequently. I have never made a limb line and tonight is going to be the first try and we're going to walk through it together. If you like to make projects like I like to make projects, tonight's going to be a good time. Hey, this is Scott with Bait to Bend. If you're not fishing, you're watching fishing. And thanks a lot for watching me tonight. Don't forget to click that subscribe button, the thumbs up for the like. If you would share this video, it'd be awesome at the end of it. And uh, hit that notification bell for future videos. So tonight we've got limb lines for catfishing. It's been around forever and ever. You tie a rope or some sort of line to a limb, you throw it down to the bottom with a little bit of weight on it, and voila, you've got yourself a catfish or some other species that you sometimes don't expect. Tonight, we're gonna learn a little bit about making limb lines and the things that we need to make them. So some of the things you're gonna need first, you're gonna need some line, which we're gonna make leader line and our actual line to tie onto the limb. Of course, you need hooks, you need a little bit of weight. I use beads on my limb line and you can use a swivel or you can use a trot line. I prefer trot lines. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with our line. We're gonna make our leader two feet long. So now that we have our leader line here, we're gonna go with our circle hook. Circle hook, leader, we're gonna make a snell knot. It's the simplest, I think, and easiest one to make, especially when there's nothing connected onto the other end. Go ahead and put your line through just a little bit and go ahead and start wrapping it around. And once you put it in there, you're putting it in through the backside where the hook isn't. So that whenever you grab that line and you've gone around it a few times, bam, you go back up through and then you got yourself a snell knot. Video right here shows you how to do it start to finish. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna connect it to our trot line. We're gonna use just a regular polymer knot. This is going to end up being, since we cut it about two feet, it's gonna end up being about a foot, foot and a half. All right. Knotted, trot line, leader. Good to go. Now this is going to be, depending on how deep it is, where your limb's gonna be. Sometimes it's eight feet, sometimes it's 20 feet. Just depends on where you're at and which line you want to grab. I'm going to make one that's 8 feet, 10 feet, and 20 feet, let's say. This one here, I'm only going to make about 8 feet. So I'm going to actually cut it off at 10 feet because obviously you have to tie it on the limb. But I want it to go down at least 10 feet. So we've got one yard, two yards, three yards, four yards. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to tie that weight to get that thing sink into the bottom. It's not heavy, but it's not light. It is a six ounce weight. This is a 150 pound line. It's going to be a big fish. It's going to have to break this thing, but we've got our weight on the bottom. We want that leader line to be about, I don't know, let's say a foot or so off the bottom. So this is where those beads come in. We're going to go ahead and slide those beads onto the other end, depending on how many leaders you want to be. So I'm going to do two so that I'm not wasting line. I mean, a lot of folks just do one and move on to the next spot, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a whirl. And I'm going to put four beads on here. We're going to be just like this. I'll clip that lead, that trot line right there in the middle. So the first one we'll just tie into a knot. 
nice and easy. Lemon squeezy. And then the second one, uh, give it a, a couple of inches. The reason I like these beads, keeps that line from running, from that fish running up and down the line. Kind of like you'd make a giant trot line, except this is more of just a trot, but there you go. You've got those two beads. You've got our leader that we made. Take that trout line. Basically, we're just clamping that thing right on there. And you've got your line. So, there you go. You've got your weight. You've got your beads. You've got your leader line. Tie that thing to a limb. You're good to go. This is Scott with Bait the Bend. If you're not fishing, you're watching fishing. Thanks a lot for watching. Click that subscribe button. Don't forget, hey, share this video if you would, please, and give it a thumbs up. Take care. You have a great night. And don't forget to click one of those other videos that are around here somewhere. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go ahead and tie on those other two. Google Bait the Bend. Check out some of the other videos. Take care.